Matt Matthew. That was, and, and it was gone just because you're like, he doesn't need, it was digital space. I didn't need it. I suppose that's true. Uh, but yeah, so I haven't, I don't recall this yet. at all. Oh, Clearly so. not because this is, you know, about half our lifetimes ago and you're still, yeah. so you're still sore about it. I was very hesitant to give you my, my email information this time around because you needed to access the Facebook page. See now, ironically, Matthew, I feel like this is a thing that you would do. This is a Matthew type of thing to to just purge gain, all of my emails. No, to gain access to my email. Oh yeah, I've and, tried. Oh yeah, I mean for a while you had access to my banking information, which was far more concerning. Really, it was just your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, okay. Okay. I didn't remember that. Yeah, it was just my birthday. It was my pin number. Oh five oh one. Oh boy. Well, that has since been rectified, and it is an arbitrary number that I would. I feel you would be hard pressed to guess. Oh one oh five. Nope. Mm. Some combination of those numbers, I'm sure. None of those numbers are in it. Damn, f- I'm giving you a clue. I should not. <laughs> yes. It's just a matter of time. I'm just, I have an algorithm to figure these things out. <laughs> and I've already, I'm already halfway there because of the information. Um, but, uh, Matthew, what, what is what is this other post you now? If you aren't going to make money on Kevin Spacey's misfortune and uh, impropriety. Uh, Louis C.K. has uh, made a movie. Yes, yes, I want to see this movie. You're not going to see it for a while. It may be video on demand. I'm not mm. entirely sure. What's the movie called? Uh, I'm Your Daddy, Call Me Daddy. Something like that, something, yeah, something Something daddy. that now, after, in light of recent events, sounds off-putting. Oh, I suppose that's true. Um, now, now, Matthew, I feel like I'm a fan of Louis C.K.'s work. Yeah, I enjoyed his show, um, and I'm feeling like I would like to see this movie. How in good consciousness can I watch this movie? I suppose I, I, I would feel better if I did not financially support this movie. Maybe not get it on video on demand. Just steal it over the internet. Illegal streaming. Pirate it. Put on an eye patch and watch it with only one eye. Well, who, who, one eye? Well, like a pirate. Pirate the film. I guess so. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good people in Charlie Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the girl who isn't Dakota Fanning, but she's older and still blonde. Okay, that's not narrowing it down. Chloe Grace Moretz. Oh, I really like Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah, and uh, and John Malkovich, that old that old creep. He's <laughs> how has how has John Malkovich not been accused of anything? You know, maybe he just seems creepy, kind of like a Christopher Walken. Like something's off about that guy. Yeah. But then in person, probably just the most delightful man. Yeah. I'm waiting for those people that that have something about them because that's going to be the real heinous stuff. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> um, I, I mean, I don't find. I'm, I guess I don't know the whole story, but I don't. I don't find what, what Louis C.K. did to be uh, something that would make you not be able to watch his movie or even pay for his movie. He still worked on it, worked hard. Sure. Can you separate uh, his actions from his art? Well, I mean, we've already seen the redemption of one Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, he made it. He came rolling He did back. his crime, and he did the time. Yeah. But I feel like if you're not convicted of a crime, there's no time to do. And then it's just a matter of public opinion. Like, Woody Allen was uh, 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 accused, and uh, the charges were dropped, I suppose. Or no, I suppose it went to trial, and he was acquitted. Mm. And uh, he's still sort of... Uh, not well looked upon in the public eye. He's not Jello's spokesperson anymore. But no, no. I mean, <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't think Woody Allen was ever Jello's spokesperson. But for that matter, now that you mention it, uh, uh, Bill Cosby, how can I, in good consciousness, eat a pudding cup? You love pudding. I don't think any, I love pudding. I don't think any rape in the world would get you to stop eating pudding. Oh boy! Now, oh, that's a weird phrasing, Matthew. I do love butterscotch, though. <laughs> I mean, you used to talk about how you wanted a whole chest full. A, a trunk. A trunk, yeah. A, a pudding trunk. Yeah. It's, so. still, it's still a fantasy of mine. If I were to win a lottery, that would be probably in the top 10 things I buy. Yeah. I win $65 million, for, for example. I would buy a house. I would buy maybe some sort of dream car and a very modest car. Okay. Just, just so, you know, I can have a pretty low-key reliable vehicle you know like a i don't know a honda civic or something yeah uh maybe even use who cares and um after that maybe a private island and 
a pudding trunk. How much money are you winning? Sixty-five million, I said. Okay, I guess you could probably buy a private island. Very small island. Yeah, you don't need a lot of room. No. How are you enough, gonna get to it? Uh, enough room for me in a trunk? You need a boat. Ride the trunk. You're gonna be like a pirate. You're gonna be like a real pirate. You That's got right. a trunk. I, you got eye patch, an island trunk. Bury, bury the pudding in, on the island. That get a sound. map. Yeah. X marks a spot. Feel like a snack. Grab the map. One eye. Follow the map. It's a lot of work for just get, a pudding. Get to digging. Yeah. And you know what? No matter whatever Bill Cosby's done in the past, that shouldn't lessen your enjoyment of it. That's how and I feel. You should be able to watch this Louis C.K. movie. This daddy which I can't movie. Think. Yeah. Um, the big, no. the, the, call me daddy. <laughs> big daddy. Wait, that's a different call me, call me Big Daddy. Um, I love it when you call me Big Daddy. Yeah. Now, can I not enjoy such cinematic classics as Annie Hall? Because Woody Allen worked on it. Can I not enjoy such classic films as Fat Albert? Uh, how how can uh, uh, Kenan Thompson go on living with himself? <laughs> Knowing that he's the fat embodiment of a Bill Cosby character. Probably probably has nightmares about it. Wakes up and sweats. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, honey. You having that dream again? <laughs> no, no, no. It's Bill Cosby. King and Thompson. You're just as bad as me. <laughs> That's how he feels. Someone's, he feels- someone's joking his jello. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's rough. What did you? What I want to know if you actually cared about Fat Albert as a child, or, or I watched at any Fat age. Albert as a child. Yeah, there was that guy with a tooth that covered his face, his, his eyes. He couldn't see things, or he had eye holes. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, it was Mushmouth. You can never quite understand what he was saying. Well, it was the ghetto? No. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that has to do with it, but I just... don't know what people have holes in their toques in the ghetto. People <laughs> have. Mush mouths because they're in the ghetto. From Matthew, I, that is pretty racist stuff. Th- this is from what I learned from watching f- Fat Albert. Fat Albert, and I never even saw Fat Albert. I so just where, saw, do, where are you? Where are you learning these ghetto scenes from? I don't know. Bill Cosby, man, he's he's poisoning me. I suppose in his stand up, he did talk about growing up in the inner city. Yeah, difficult just, times. Yeah, I think it might be hard to watch uh, the Bill Cosby show. The Cosby Show or Cosby, the CBS had come from the late 90s, early 2000s. Which was which? The Cosby Show was the one that is uh, well-loved with his family. Yeah, maybe that one, because it would just feel like all a big lie. And Cosby was the later show where he had been retired and was just him and the same actress playing his wife in a different home and a different state in their lives. And no kids. They had kids, but they did not live with them. They would come visit every now and again. Hmm. They were grown-up kids. Okay. He was not Dr. Huxtable anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. S- that, even that's strange. The Cosby show, the character was not Cosby. Yeah, I think that, that, that's that got to happen uh, a lot, though, no? Well, the Drew Carey show, his character was name Carey. was Drew Carey. The Norm, Mac- the Norm, Norm show? show was he, Norm, he was Norm was Norm. Uh, Seinfeld, Murphy Brown? Seinfeld, Murphy Brown. That was not the actress's name. Oh, what was her name? <laughs> Candace Bergen. Ah, oh, that's true. Murphy Brown was such, such a lame name that you would think it was a real name. It was a huge hit, that show. Didn't even have a theme song. Didn't it? I don't know. Do you remember it? Can you sing I do it not. Right I now? was not the biggest fan of Murphy Brown. I was more of a Caroline in the City type of guy. Oh, yeah. She was the... Uh, cartoonist. The cartoonist, yeah. yeah. I always got that one and Suddenly Susan mixed up. Oh. What about Veronica's Closet? Never heard of that one. Really? Yeah. I feel like we've talked about that one on a recent episode of the podcast. Veronica, yeah, but I don't listen to the podcast. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Am I not allowed to enjoy uh, the music, the musical stylings of uh, Charles Manson mm. because of of his uh, recent crimes? The, well, not re- what do you mean recent crimes? The recently deceased Charles Manson? Yes. I mean, it, it's all... It's all relative, you know. You don't know. It's a 1969. I think these crimes happened, but sure. he's still paying the price for him. And now in death, and people are, you know, he died recently. Yes, it's a, we're a little unclear on when. Yeah, either Friday or sometime between then and now. Yeah, he's definitely dead now, though. Yes, uh, for Didn't sure. He, wasn't he getting married like a year or two ago? Wasn't there like some young journalist who interviewed him and found him fascinating and decided they wanted to marry him? I don't think so. I feel like I heard that story within the past two years. So he's still got it then. 
I mean, he's he's a real charmer, that Manson. Well, that's what he did. He got people to murder for him back I in suppose, the 60s. And now, and it's just, just girls who decided they were going to be Manson girls. They were going to start following him, do whatever he said, live on this ranch. Well, Matthew, you've never convinced someone to do a regrettable act that you yourself would not do. But you convincing someone makes you, yeah, I guess, accountable. But not murder. Oh, no, not murder. And not multiple murders, and not murders of, of famous Hollywood people. Who was killed? Uh, someone's wife. Pregnant wife. Eight months, eight months pregnant. Roman Polanski's wife. Oh, was it Roman Polanski's wife? Yeah. Maybe that's why Roman Polanski did such heinous crimes uh, to flee the country. That's true. So... So this is all interconnected. Yeah. Is Roman Polanski's wife, Louis C.K.'s mother, Charles Manson, the reason why I can't see this new movie? Is Kevin Spacey the little boy that Kevin Spacey (laughs) tried to sleep with? It's just this really strange loop, but it's Hollywood and things like this happen every day. That's right. So that's what we're learning in this in this new paradigm. We're finding out that uh, this is the norm. Not to make light of this, of course. I feel like that's exactly what we're doing. Um, but I <laughs> um, no, the only person these are can, reprehensible crimes. It's true. The only across person, the board from from uh, uh, sexual misconduct to mass murder. Yeah, the only person I'm vouching for a little bit here because I feel like it's it's a pretty safe bet. Charlie Manson. Go on. I just feel like he's gotten such a bad rap, but he's been so entertaining for the last 40 years. <laughs> Please elaborate. I when, mean, when, when were you like sitting at home and then you were like watching America's Funniest Home Videos and flicking around going like, what else is on? And you're like, ooh, Charlie Manson special. Well, that's always a hoot and a holler. Yeah. America's Funniest uh, Serial Murderer. <laughs> And it's just Charlie Manson, because the other ones weren't really funny. Not very funny. Like, there were so many worse people, so many worse murderers, like... Zodiac uh, Killer? Ed, Zodiac Killer, Ed Gain, uh, Gacy, John Wayne, mm-hmm. John Wayne Gacy? Yeah, I believe that's the name. Uh, you know, the, like the... Richard Dahmer? Yeah, Dahmer, Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. That's the Richard, one. Richard Donner. Richard Pryor. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know what he did. He probably didn't do anything. We're talking about murderers, and I'm, yes. I'm throwing in Richard Pryor now. No, yeah, <laughs> um, they did a lot of bad stuff. Mm-hmm. Like Dahmer, I don't, I don't. I watched a few movies on him, and he's done unspeakable things. The, the movies that I've watched with Charles Manson, it doesn't Again, seem that bad. How many movies? He's not a Hollywood star. <laughs> It wasn't him. It was like people playing him. There's Jeremy Jeremy Davies played him in Helter Skelter. Oh, okay. Uh, There's another film, and I think there was a there was the documentary a few years ago, the Manson Girls. Okay. Documentary, but um, it, in relation to everything else, like he didn't kill six people. He had six people killed. He, yeah, sure. He had six people killed, but. There are so many worse people out there. So many people kill more people. And this guy has been hated on for the last 40 years. And well, ever he was also then, a maniac. Like, he but still had a enter- swastika tattooed into his forehead. That doesn't make you a maniac, though. That just makes you mm. someone who's gotten, like, a, made a poor life poor decision. Poor decisions. Like, yeah, yeah well, I've seen plenty of tribal tattoos in my time. Yeah. Which is worse, really. Yeah, and it's like, he could have gotten it removed. But it's like, well, he's in prison for, m- for multiple life sentences. What's yeah. the point? The so, swastika is definitely worse than the tribal tattoo, for the record. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be in prison for all that. At least the, the tattoo makes him look a little tougher. But who do you think is messing with Charles Manson in prison? He's got to be like a god in prison. And I heard he made a, he did a lot of, he, he pulled a lot of shenanigans in prison. Lit fires, uh, ensued riots. He, uh, this sounds some, like some pretty run-of-the-mill prison behavior. Well, what can you do? But that's Charles Manson. I just, I Find feel like. Find God, get a law degree. That would be a, that would be a pretty insult, uh, insulting thing to, to lawmen, I guess. I suppose. Get himself off of the murders. That'd be from, something, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, anyway, but he passed away recently and everybody, everybody in the, the media world, they're all just saying good riddance. They're adding in their little two cents about him. Mm-hmm. Just report the news. I don't need to know that you're a, you're a, you not a so fan of a hate. serial murderer. So much hate. 
You know, isn't that what he wanted? Isn't that what Charles Manson wanted was to 